It's official rovers. Kuro just announced that everyone will get Shangli Yao for free during the second half of version 1.2. This is one of the official announcement from the developer's message volume 4. Aside from this free 5-star confirmation, developers are well aware that many aspects of the game still have room for improvement, and they are committed to listening to our feedback to continually optimize and enhance the game. In fact, they also made an announcement about a few upcoming optimizations. First, is the quality of life improvements to the auto lock-on system. With the release of version 1.2, we will gain access to the new custom lock-on feature under control settings. This option allows us to set the auto lock-on priorities for enemies based on our combat preferences. I'm personally looking forward to this. Developers heard your feedback regarding the need to frequently switch between teams when there are no pistol using resonators available for some challenges or puzzles. So, in version 1.2, we'll be able to use the new hover droid. Once the utilities feature is available, we can equip the hover droid in the utility wheel. To shoot with the hover droid, simply tap or hold the basic attack button. They also mentioned that more hover droid features are under development, and they hope this will help us better explore Solaris. Really, a good quality of life improvement for our upcoming exploration challenges. As mentioned on my previous video, we will have a wave plate storage system. Here is the confirmation as well. A new feature to store excess wave plates will be introduced in version 1.2. Once you reach the wave plate cap, you will receive wave plate crystals instead. These crystals can be exchanged for wave plates of equivalent value. You will regenerate one wave plate crystal every 12 minutes, up to 480 wave plate crystals. Once this limit is reached, you will not gain additional wave plate crystals. Another optimization update is that the 120 FPS option will be back and be available on selected PC devices. So stay tuned for more details in the coming days. Also, the activity points reward for the spend 180 wave plates daily quest will be increased from plus 20 to plus 60. This will help us complete our daily activity points quests more quickly. To help us level up more resonators, they will add more exchange items to the elusive store in subsequent versions of the Depths of Elusive Realm event. If you are aware, on the current version, they added exchange items on shop for Changli last time. So they just confirmed that it will be the usual scenario for us. We will receive a system mail reminder after the exchange items are added. This is really nice, since we need more materials for resonators. And another exciting updates, guys. New resonator showcase feature on our profile. With the release of version 1.2, you can view and display the convened scenes of unlocked resonators with the resonator showcase feature. You can display up to three selected resonators here. This feature is really amazing. I think I already saw this one since version 1 of the game from other creator, but I think no one confirmed this is real back then. So what do you think of this updates guys? Are you happy with it? If not, then let's continue to send feedback for improvement guys. Please, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.